Being a high-earning celebrity doesn't mean everything always runs smoothly. This is show business. And while they might bring us laughter or music or any manner of entertainment, the celebrities that Ellen hosts on her talk show are still people. And people can be strange sometimes. Hey guys, before we get into the video, make sure to enter a giveaway to win any of these prizes. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, comment the keyword, like the video, turn on post notifications, and most importantly, watch the whole video. The Ellen DeGeneres Show first aired September 8th, 2003, and is still going strong now in 2020. During the years, there have definitely been some bizarre moments. Some funny and some not so funny. Either way, it wouldn't be surprising if Ellen had considered kicking many guests off the show throughout its time. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. These are 10 times that Ellen nearly kicked someone off of the Ellen DeGeneres show. Number one, drunk Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson finds herself on this list mainly because the Texas-born singer and actress turned up drunk for her interview with Ellen in 2017. This alone would be enough to kick any guest off a daytime talk show, an intoxicated person not being suitable for television at that time of day. Jessica Simpson's random, fumbled stories and clear signs of drunkenness led to many a side eye from Ellen and little looks at the camera and audience. This year, in an interview on the talk show Today, she admitted that the 2017 appearance was a weak moment for her and apologized to Ellen and the viewers for drinking before going on air. Number two, insults from Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams was another guest that Ellen hosted on the show. Her own daytime talk show, The Wendy Williams Show, is actually a strong competitor of Ellen's, with Williams often taking the spot as the number one female host on daytime television. But Williams has also been the subject of much controversy over the years. The radio DJ turned television host has made unpopular comments about both Tupac Shakur and Wu-Tang Clan member Method Man. In addition to her involvement as a producer in a controversial biopic about R&B artist Aaliyah, a movie made without any authorization from her family. While she did not do anything incredibly controversial during her interview with Ellen, she did say some stuff about how Ellen looked like Justin Bieber. The comment felt slightly unnecessary. Ellen simply laughed it off, claiming she didn't really mind being compared to someone as handsome as Justin Bieber. Either way, something tells the audience that behind that smile was a secret desire to kick Williams off of her show. Williams actually insulted Ellen further after losing to her in the 2019 People's Choice Awards. Radar Online reported her saying, congratulations Ellen, you won again. She's the People's Choice, all right, before rolling her eyes. Number three. Awkward moment with a student. A different type of situation in which Ellen probably wanted to kick a guest off of the show was when she invited student Jamie Bell up to the stage. Ellen read out a letter written by Jamie's mother explaining how her daughter had paid for her own college tuition fees and even donated blood every week for six months in order to afford a new computer. Just after announcing that she was going to do something to help Jamie out, a producer rushed out to whisper something in the host's ear. Ellen then had to go on to say, so this is awkward, but um, we're going to give you a computer. To which Jamie replied, I already have a computer. It is understandable if at this point, Ellen had felt so embarrassed that she had secretly wished she could kick Jamie off of the show out of fear of looking like a terrible person. But the ever smiling daytime host has had more than her fair share of awkward encounters. More than enough to deal with this type of situation anyway. Number four. Kanye being Kanye. Possibly the most infamous moment on the show was when rapper Kanye West appeared on May 19th, 2016. Everybody knows Kanye is no stranger to saying strange things. He's made some very questionable statements on television, including bizarre outbursts about race and on more than one occasion likening himself to Jesus. In the interview, Ellen jokingly jabbed at the rapper, asking if he regretted anything he had ever posted on Twitter. While he got the joke and laughed along, when Ellen pushed for more questions on his Twitter rampage, in which he'd asked Mark Zuckerberg for $1 billion, what followed was an intense but somewhat hard to follow speech from Kanye, in which he covered several subjects. These included his ability to see sonic sound waves, his wife Kim Kardashian, the meaning of life, and also his ideas for how he could change the world for the human race. And for the five minutes or so that he ranted to the audience, Ellen could be seen by audiences staring in disbelief, most likely questioning whether or not this was actually happening. 
It looked as if the host couldn't figure out whether to allow the rant to continue for the sake it's entertainment value, or cut the interview short and ask the rapper to leave the set before he took it a step too far. In the end, the interview was edited so that a large portion of Kanye's speech never aired on television. However, the long version can easily be found on YouTube. Number 5. Too Much for Kai Langer? Many cringe-worthy moments have arguably come from Ellen's consistent use of Kai Langer, a child first invited onto the show in 2013 to sing Grenade by Bruno Mars. While his singing was completely off-key and didn't sound great, this was far from the point of the appearance as Kai was utterly adorable and loved by the audience. However, despite his several reappearances and even duets on the show with the likes of Bruno Mars and Ed Sheeran, fans of Ellen were left wondering whether, if it hadn't already, the cute gimmick was quickly losing its magic as Kai grew up. Not that the comedian would ever wish any negativity on a child. And to be fair, without Ellen seeking out child guests like Kai, she would not have become what a writer for Nick Swift described her as, the unofficial gatekeeper of viral child stars. And Ellen clearly doesn't seem to see a problem with him continuing to appear on her show. Now that he's older, however, she might not kick him off exactly, but she may stop inviting him back. Number 6. Thieving Audience Member Another lighthearted mention, although it would be hard to blame Ellen if she had asked this person to leave, was audience member Nancy. Ellen revealed on the screen on stage a video of the audience before the show queuing up being allowed to take one item as a souvenir. But the camera caught one audience member Nancy helping herself to several different items. The camera then focused on a bright red Nancy in the audience, who claimed the extra items were for other people. Ellen jokingly shunned her before making a fairly blunt comment about being a good person because you want to be one, and not because people are watching. Then Nancy asked to sit in Ellen jail on the stage, which quickly made light of the situation. Number 7. Feud with Caitlyn Caitlyn Jenner made comments on the Ellen DeGeneres show that would certainly have made Ellen consider just having her removed from the set. Of course, Ellen has always conducted her interviews in a way that the guests are given the time and attention to discuss their views on the stage. But sometimes even Ellen can't hide the issues she's having with what's being discussed. A perfect example of this is the discussion had between the two on same-sex marriage, in which Caitlyn Jenner expressed her problems with calling it a marriage, but said that if the word marriage is really that important, then she could go with it. Much to the delight of a laughing audience, DeGeneres replied with, It's funny because you're still kind of a little not on board with it. The small spat did not stop there, however, with Jenner later claiming that the interview had been cut for television in a way that shone a more negative light on her views regarding same-sex marriage in comparison to what she had actually said in reality. Number 8. Brad Pitt the Superfan Although this was not your typical guest setup, actor Brad Pitt is definitely a guest Ellen thought about kicking out of the studio. Last year, Pitt sat in the audience of one of Ellen's shows, much to the excitement of the all-female audience. As she attempted to continue her show, the host kept breaking into laughter, claiming to be a little distracted, leading the audience to suddenly notice who was sitting among them and greet Pitt with a standing applause. It's fair to say that Pitt very much stole the show from DeGeneres. Maybe she spent a few moments thinking about having the security remove him just to claim her spot back as the star of her own show. Number 9. When Ellen watched with her mom, DeGeneres has had nearly everyone appear as a guest on her show. And her own mom is no exception. During one segment of the talk show, the audience were treated to a group routine in the style of Magic Mike. As the performance grew raunchier, the comedian's face could be seen turning red in embarrassment as if she was debating whether or not the solution would be to have the dancers kicked out, or her own mom, who was a member of the audience and watching the whole thing. Number 10. When Ellen nearly kicked herself off of the show. Once again involving her mom, this mention makes the list because if there was ever a time that Ellen nearly thought of removing herself from the show, it was this one. Being filmed backstage, the host was joined by both actor Ashton Kutcher, who was wearing a bathrobe, and her mom. But the cringe-worthy part for Ellen was when Kutcher simply dropped the robe, standing stark naked in front of the host and her mom. It was clear to see from her face, however, that the comedian's mom, like her daughter, has a sense of humor. But it didn't stop Ellen from looking incredibly embarrassed. Controversy outside of the Ellen DeGeneres show. 
Ellen is a strong personality both on and off screen, and has also been involved in feuds and controversy of her own outside of the show. A notable example in recent years was with comedian Kathy Griffin over DeGeneres' disliking for Joan Rivers. After Rivers passed, Kathy claims that Ellen even refused to do a tribute for her after Kathy had reached out to the talk show host about the hatred she supposedly had for Joan. DeGeneres just replied saying, There's a difference between mean and funny. Kathy says that she herself said some inflammatory things and even called DeGeneres an untalented hack. Ellen also faced a recent backlash last year over her friendship with former U.S. President George W. Bush after the two of them were photographed laughing together at a football game. This backlash came because of a two-year-old quote that had resurfaced, in which Ellen had stated her refusal to ever have Donald Trump on her show, despite her apparent friendship with Bush, who many even consider to be a war criminal. It's important to remember, however, that most celebrities find themselves in these online disputes. When so much of what they say is accessed by whole nations, there's bound to be some backlash from time to time. Ellen has still cemented herself as a top name in entertainment and has produced many memorable moments to look back on throughout her show's history. Hopefully, she'll continue to make many more.